Hello, welcome to Scratch 3 Printing. In this video, I'll be taking a look at Anycubic Slicer Snacks, the latest version. Let's scratch today's topic. Anycubic Slicer Snacks finally got a new update and I think it's pretty interesting. I haven't really looked at what they added to their Slicer Snacks, but I will take a look at it and see what kind of new things that they added and see if those new things that they added is going to be good for their 3D printers and or many other 3D printers out there. Let's go and take a look at it. We are now in Anycubic Slicer Next. So this version is update 1.2. I cannot find the release note anywhere online except here. This is the only time where this thing pops up. If any of you guys know where to find like all the new features that Anycubic put out to their slicers, let me know in the comments down below because this is the only place that really shows what they update. Okay, update notes. New features add a pro parameter sync function. Okay. Nice. Add a local network machine to the printed list in the workbench. Okay, local network machines. I hope this is similar to what Creality is doing on their 3D printers. Like the 3D printers has their own IP address and you can just use that instead of like a code or a number that is specifically to your 3D printer. Optimize dark mode. Okay, I don't really use dark mode, but it's good that they have this. People love dark mode. I do too. Okay, improvement and bug fixes. Open access to Z offset settings. Finally, man. Finally, Anycubic, thank you for adding a Z offset setting. I'll be checking this out and see if it's actually there and if it's good. But people have been complaining on the Anycubic 3 or just Anycubic 3D printers because of the Z offset. People cannot set the Z offset in the slicers and that is driving people crazy because of the first layer. The first layer is crucial for 3D printing. You basically need a perfect first layer in order for the rest of the print to be good. So nice that they have a Z offset so people can mess around with it and get a really good first layer. Improved G-code preview window now closed by default. Stay open when activated. Okay, good, 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 good. Fix an occasional issue where multi-plate remote printing would start at the wrong location. Nice. I haven't really used multi-plate, but it's good that they fixed this issue. And other bugs is. I want to know what other bug is, but it's okay. Let's download it now. I like how you just click download and then it just install here. Restart and then it's open up. I like that. Okay, let's install it right now. Okay, we just updated and now in the new version looks like everything is still pretty much the same on my settings okay so let's go and find the z offset where could it be so let's just do a search here z there's only top distance z <coughs> let's check the filament and see if we can find the z offset there's only z hop and z retraction what about the 3d printer let's see here there we go printable space z offset there was no option like this before i checked i checked before this and there was no option here so let's click that it's in the printer setting here we go it's in the printer setting up here take a look at the top left printer and then your 3d printer here you click this little pencil added the preset and then it's in the basic information printable space it's and then you go down z offset right here so if you want to you can read that this value will be added or subtract from all the z coordinates in the output g code if your end stop zero actually leaves the nozzle 0.3 millimeters far from the print bed set this to negative 0.3 or fix your end stop they added the z offset directly here so you can edit this however you want so i just added a model now it's a pumpkin this is going to be a really cool project. So stay tuned for that. So they did say something about the G code preview. It says enable and disable. So not quite sure what that actually is. Um, preview. I don't know. I don't know. Not quite sure what that is, but hey, it's there. It's fixed. Preference. Okay. It's in the preference. Okay. All the way down here. Enable dark mode. And boom. Look at that. Everything went dark okay okay it seems pretty nice i like it i like it but if you do this it's exactly like orca slicer there there's really not much difference i think if you show this to people they won't even know what this is 
Is it Orga Slicer? Is it Nucubic Slicer? As you saw there, Nucubic Slicer Snacks has updated and I think this update is going to be pretty good for many people. The main thing that people will be enjoying is the Z offsets because that was a huge problem. I have seen so many people complain about not having the options to adjust the Z offset from the slicer itself. I forgot if you can do it on the Cora 3 itself or on any of the Nucubic 3D printers on the KO Max and the N3v3. The I know that you can do it on the screen itself because for those 3D printers, I sometimes have to adjust the Z offset. But for the Cobra 3, I haven't really need to do any auto bed leveling at all. I never do auto bed leveling for my 3D prints. I just do it one time and then do a first layer test print. And if it's good, I just leave it there. I don't really do auto bed leveling. Unless it's like printing really badly for the first layer, then yeah, I will look at it and then do testing on it. But if my 3D printer is pretty good, I don't really do all the bad leveling or adjust Z offset unless it's bad. I have not adjusted the Z offset on the Cobra 3 at all, so I don't know if you can do on the screen, but now you can do on the slicer, which is amazing. That'll be it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Comment down below, what do you think about any cubic slicer? Would you rather use that or Orca slicers? I think many people will say Orca slicers, but you still cannot just connect it. Hopefully in the future, we can be able to do that, but we have to wait and see. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel. More amazing stuff is coming. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep on 3D printing.